Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October TBR. That in the background is literally just a fleece and a few blank blankets that are over the back. It's not that it's in a mess. That stuff right there is online working. Those are my sister's toys. I wanted to film in a different location plus I'm really short on time before my next lesson so I wanted to get through this as quick as possible. Even if it means being a few minutes late to my afternoon lesson but I know I can get away with it. So I'm going to get straight into the books just because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the physical books. I, this month I've decided to go a different route to what I usually do. So like last month I said I I gave 10. This month I'm only saying I'm doing 8 because then any books I mention in my October reading, like what I read in October, there's going to be extra books that weren't on this list. So, starting with physical books. True History of the Kelly Gang. I first mentioned this in my trying to read a new book every single day for a week video and I just want to read this. It's to do with authorities in pursuit of a horse thief, bank robber and police killer and but two fellow Australians. He's their own Robin Hood and it just it says in a dazzling act of ventriloquism Peter Carey brings the famous bush ranger wildly and passionately to life. It sounded good. I got it from secondary literally because it's one of those books that I, they were getting rid of so I picked up. Then I'm this next book you're going to be shocked that I've not read this but it's Twilight. Yes I've not actually read Twilight. I do own it again. I got it from secondary school. I own Twilight and Breaking Dawn so I don't own the two in the middle which is New Moon and Eclipse. I don't own those two but if I like this then I might purchase the other two. If not then I might just get rid of Breaking Dawn without reading it. But yeah I've never read Twilight. I have read all the Harry Potters for anyone who's thinking me is like being a little weird. I have read all the Harry Potters. I've just not read Twilight. The next physical book is Shiver by Maggie Streifbarter or Streifbarter. I've heard a few things about this in the bookish community but it says when a local boy is killed by wolves, Grace's small town becomes a place of fear and suspicion but Grace can't help being fascinated by the pack and by one yellow eyed wolf in particular. There's something about him, something almost human. Then she meets a yellow eyed boy whose familiarity takes her breath away. And it's a chilling, oh it's a chilling love story that will have you hooked from the very first page. Um, I just thought it's probably a bit of fantasy, obviously yeah it says love, but I just thought it'd be something different to read, so that's why I said I'm going to read it. I think I've heard some mixed criticisms, like, I think some people like it, some people don't, I'm not sure but I am going to read it, see what I think of it, that sort of thing. Then the final like physical book I'm going to read is Birthdays for the Dead by Stuart McBride and it says five years ago his daughter Rebecca disappeared on the eye of her 13th birthday. A year later the first card arrived homemade with a Polaroid stuck to the front. Rebecca strapped to a chair gagged and terrified. Every year another card each one worse than the last. The tabloids called him a birthday boy. He's been snatching girls for years always just before the 13th birthday killing them slowly then torturing their families with his homemade cards. But Ash hasn't told anyone what really happened to Rebecca. They all think she ran away because if anyone finds out, he'll be taken off the investigation. And he sacrificed too much to give up before his daughter's murderer gets what he deserves. Basically the top line was Detective Constable Ash Henderson has a dark secret and then that's what it was. But I just, it's like a crime thriller thing and I just thought it'd be like a really good book and I just liked it and I decided to read it. Then the first ebook that I'm reading which I've actually already started because it is the 2nd of October today is The Estranged, the Estranged by J.G. Karatzanis and it's, I've got my iPad in front of me and basically it's about 
this girl trying to find out what destroyed her lover and like the love that they had together and her trying to find out what happens she says she still loves him he needs to change and desperation can be vicious and she tries to pull it all behind her but has no idea what's in front and after re-meeting another man at a party she thought it was time to move on but she was wrong and she meets this new guy but there's something about him that she can't put a finger on and that it's something sinister and it just sounds really interesting then the next ebook I want to read is 12 by Nolan King and David W. Wright and this book is about sorry about the background noise it says the gunman will enter a diner and commit one of the worst massacres in a coastal town and 12 hours earlier 12 lives are on borrowed time and aware that death is coming a young waitress and basically it just follows along with what their like their stories behind before what happens and it just sounds interesting then the next book that i want to read is the devil's dice by Roz watkins and this book is about a lawyer found dead in the peak district cave his face ribboned with scratches and among rumours of a curse, D.I. McDalton is convinced this is cold blooded murder. There's just one catch chiseled into the cave wall above the body. It's an image of the Grim Reaper and the dead man's initials. And it's been there for over a century. And it says, as Meg begins to solve the case, it's clear someone knows her secrets. And that the, pet, the killer is playing games with Meg. And just all of that. And it sounds really interesting and then the final ebook that i'm looking to read is by louisa de lang or de lange and it's ask me no questions and this book hold on this book is about it says twins have a special bond that someone will kill to break and that two Twins as children were, Id were inseparable and now adults, one of them's in a coma following a vicious attack and the other claims that until the week before that they haven't spoken in 15 years but like finding out what caused the separation and what brought them back together so suddenly and a DS Kate Munro is convinced the crime was personal and that she's trying to find the tr separate the truth from the lines and find the person who committed the crime before anything bad happens so those are all the books that i want to read in the month of october i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys